Okay. You might be wondering why the music went down and then I took so long to come on screen. Uh, it's because my light turned on and like blasted my face with sun rays. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes the settings on my light just res- Oh, actually, you know what? No, I do know what happened. My computer restarted because the power went out today. Okay, my voice is coming through pretty clear. Normal amount of YouTube lag, but we're good to go. I gotta reacclimate make wow. I gotta reacclimate myself to Baldur's Gate because I was just hell diving. But we're back. Finally. The return to Baldur's Gate. It's been two weeks. And we're on episode twenty-two. And I still have not bought the last form. <laughs> 
Hey, Deuce. Hope you're feeling well. Or less bad, at the very least. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm good to go. I want to get into this game, because when I don't stream Baldur's Gate, I don't play Baldur's Gate. And I've kind of been missing it. Although we did do another co-op stream. <laughs> I, have, I have Lorem and Ipsum. Who knows what the next co-op character will be. Oh, that sucks. Hopefully it goes back to normal. <laughs> Tim, hey, uh, sorry about time zones. Would that I could change them. Oh, is it just... <laughs> you know what? We'll blame time zones anyway. It's not you. It's daylight savings time. Alright, um, so I was here, and I was ready to fight Thorm, and I didn't want a long rest, because I had some elixirs up. I have aid. Um, I have done some combat still, because I am missing some spell slots. Um, uh, what do you have? You have your spell slots, okay, but you just have to redo hex, but you can do that without using a spell slot. How do you have your spell slots? Oh, I must have rested. Okay. What's the story? And you... I didn't use your rage. Because I don't think she had five. Just a pinch of... oh. Shouldn't have wished. Okay. Interesting times. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can't put that on time zones. Alright. Um... Oh, you know what we haven't done? We haven't found Will's dad. That's in Baltus Gate. <laughs> okay, Wolbrin is in the last light. Deal with that after. Moonrise. This is where the Grand Duke is. Tieflings got out. That we're not doing just yet. That we're not doing just yet. Sevlor is captured. So you have to deal with that. And then this we're not doing just yet. And then this is all... Oh no! Because this is also the Absolute Cult abducted in an infernal asset of some importance. Oh, I completely forgot about this actually. Um, I'm not sure where this is. I... <coughs> Gosh, golly. There must be parts of the castle I missed. <laughs> okay. Now I gotta be in, like... RPG gamer mode instead of hell diaper mode. And yeah, there's this weird muscus. Something slimy seems to be dripping from the rafters above. Um, but I've visited every room on this level, haven't I? I believe I have. Let's just do the rounds. Yeah, I remember coming around this way. Okay, let's just... Go through the rooms and make sure there's nothing on this level that I'm missing. Wasn't there a cat over here? Yeah, there was the cat over there. Seems simple enough. That's you, right? Yeah. Oh. 
Uh, you, I don't write. Oh, no, no, you. This is the same year I was just in. I just did a little hoot. Okay. All right, what's your deal? She sees everything we are. Do you understand? Don't worry about there it. There is okay. no hiding from her. <laughs> Just have a few. Oh, whoops. No, I just pressed the wrong button. Okay, over here then. Okay, and this is where everybody's hanging out. And that's the mucus room. I think I've been everywhere. Yeah, I know, I remember that guy. Um, I don't think I'm missing anything. And then Catherick went up that way. And so did, um... What's her name? Zrel? Brothers. Sister. <laughs> yeah, no, playing an actual puzzle game will just be... Full Riddler mode. Does this go back outside? Oh, this is the front door. Okay, this is what I walked around. Okay. Okay, all right, let's just, uh, let's get it started in here. Also, oh, I would have assumed it was the letter E. Right. Uh, let's just go for it. Hello. No feuding under this roof, true soul. We're all one under the absolute. More's the pity. That's supposed to mean. Let's, let's disco this duck. Okay, Zrel's over there. And that is... Infiltrate in general. Oh, Zrel wants to entrust us with a task. I completely forgot that. Okay. So I will come back to you after. I'm going to go mess about. Hello. Will's dad, are you here? Ooh, that's locked. Suspicious sounds, eh? Um, hmm. Maybe I should talk to Zrel, just in case request has anything to do with that. Oh, that's locked too? Okay, let me see if Zrel will give me permission to wander around. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciple Zrel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No, better yet. 
Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories Dang. in a blaze of excitement. Tongues of psychic flame lap at the memory of the goblins dying by your hand. I see you like to handle underlings physically. So do I. Damn, I'm not that thirsty. All right, I'm gonna be cool. Your confidence is delicious. I can see why the absolute might be hungry to dig deeper into that mind of yours. I certainly am. Oh, okay. She okay. parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate, mm. but there is purpose to her oh, exploration. No. She is searching for proof of your faith. Look, I'm not going to fall for this again, all right? <laughs> we did this with Lazel. Uh, this seems like a good idea. That's not a good idea. Go for it. Oh, no, I got this. Very nice. There is a tremor of <clears throat> shared ecstasy as she finds a mirror to her own desire. Perfect. You crave what all true souls should, to be touched by the absolute. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. What did you want? too curious to take without asking <coughs> to feel without doubting and to kill without consequence in a word freedom see if lorem was here she'd be all over that how do i get what i By want by serving general thorn i have a mission for you all right what's the word That's it play along the closer you can get to the general, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. I want to ask this, but it feels too soon. Yeah, what do I need to There do? is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. Oh. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there. Aid Balthazar if you can. And bring the relic home. What is this relic? It is something that General Thorm desires. And that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. Well, what does it look She's like? She's suddenly nervous. On edge. Talking about the relic makes her anxious. Yeah, why are you so anxious? What's the dealio? Uh, bonus of 8 to 11. Just, I, I got this. I miss doing dice bath. I'm in awe of the power the relic must hold to be of such importance. General Thorne will not leave Moonrise without it. Eh. What if Death would not dead? silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. And I accompanied him. It was destroyed shortly after he left Moonrise. Hardly a surprise. We're protected here, but outside the shadows are hungry.
What if I get back up? Fine. Talk to the bugbear quartermaster. Ooh. Tell him he's to share my secret stash with you. Okay. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You'll need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Gross. Okay, so where's Balthazar's quarters then? So I can get myself a functioning moon lantern. Oh, actually, what's your deal? I need a quick word. It is not your time yet, blessed one. The rooftop chapel is reserved for the general's private contemplation. Save for those he chooses to ascend. This must be the place. We have to get inside. That was I'm chosen. sure you have done a great many things to get this far, Trousseau. But above, you will stand in her very presence. Such an honor requires more. Disciples Rel has given you a chance to earn that honor. Okay. Um, I'll go do the thing. I don't mind doing the thing. Her design does not end at the grave, blessed one. Back to the you will okay. serve, whether you ascend or fall. And I find use for even the fallen. I hope that is some comfort to you. It is not. Oh, this is where I came up. Okay. So not there. Can pass in the name of the salute. Yeah, hello. The tower doesn't stink like an overstuffed cemetery, which means Balthazar hasn't returned. So why are you here instead of out there looking for him? Yeah, right. It would have to be, like, someone troll-sized to even get halfway to useful, and even then. What were, what were my buttons here? Okay. Gosh, it, it has been a while. I was trying to remember what my mouse buttons were. So, is this the door that they were talking about? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, uh, okay. Huh. Different bookshelves, multiple labels. Oh, uh, you know what I'm assuming? That those shelves have to be interacted with in a certain order. Any works by Mordenkainen must catch up on current events. No volo, better a century of ignorance. 
and Vellum holds Inkling Elder can harvest. New copy of Swift and Sun Death for library. Oh. I bet these gotta be pulled in a certain order. And then the lever will do something. Yeah, he can't go when a skull isn't looking. Don't give me trouble now. Oh, wait, you know what? I should uh I should close the door. Don't mind me. Cape. When you poison a foe, heal yourself 1d4. Um... Who could use that? Who's doing poison? No one really. So what I'm looking for is, I assume that there's some notes or something around here. Yeah, personal notes, because I saw personal notes three over there. So I assume there's a personal notes one and two at the very least. Um, I don't know if I want to sell that, because it's always kind of useful. Note, install drain beneath library's conventional medicine shelf. It's a place to let the blood seep through the flagstones. It'll rust the spikes besides. Disregard the spell exam. Gross. <laughs> Read a hundred different books. I just got the achievement for that. Okay. Something good here, I hope. Check the chests, maybe. Yeah, I'll take some alchemical stuff. I'll do some alchemy. Do I have enough to do alchemy? Nice. Okay. I don't see note one. I do see this lever. Uh, I guess we could just pull it and see what happens. Oh. Okay, I see. There's another way up here. But do I want to do that just yet? I don't think so. I want to... Look, I know... <laughs> I said I was going to fight Catherick soon. And I put Catherick in the thumbnail. But... <laughs> if I go do this thing, then they'll just let me in. And I can get some XP, and maybe the quest will be useful in some way. Not to go through his stuff. What? There's a log here in one of those crystal bone dotted. I thought the state the fallen one was in. I never expected a crest would be able to save it.
One of his assistants had some sort of creature around as a pet? What manner of creature? I'm not sure I understand. This is from Slate and engraved with Githyanki writing. It closely resembles the disc that Lazel deciphered. This time, the symbols easily resolve into coherent words oh. and sentences. The story of Orpheus further unfolds. The Prince of the Comet, Part 3. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, pierced Prince Orpheus clean through with his sword of silver. That his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon, Ephelaman. Vlakith's faithful roar out this tale. But beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The mm. Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlakith's tyranny. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir. Prince of the Comet. The chapter mm. ends there. This disc might be of some interest to Lazel. Well, hang on to this then. Looks like the other. Another story about the Gith Yankee Prince. Oh, won't make sense in this playthrough. Oh, I've already <laughs> averted learning about that somehow. Okay. Um. I just want to poke at these books and see what happens. There's four of them. So that's four, twelve, twenty-four possible combinations. I don't know. If I just poke you randomly, maybe something will happen. Interesting. Okay, so I just poked it and a poison gas cloud appeared. So maybe that's why he was telling his uh, students not to go poking around his bookshelves. Do not go in there. Okay, so. Oh, but I could just sneak in. Oh, but the door was locked, so maybe I can't. This is just a lot of stuff. Yes, there's the indeed there is a lot of stuff in this game. I could just sneak in, but then I'll be missing stuff. Okay, let's just let's just do this real quick. Quick twenty minute adventure. And I'll just look for another elixir. Oh true, it did say not to read the ones on poisons. But I thought, you know, I, I was—I didn't know he'd be so literal about it. You hear? Of many hearts. You seek arms. I seek a warrior worthy to bear them. Zarel said, "Gimme." Took a liking to you, did she? Watch yourself. She breaks her toys once she's done with them. These are... they seem to be improved arrows. These are doing a lot more damage than I saw before. 30 to 40 damage? We... okay. Oh. 
Oh, hello. Hang on. Hello. Hang on. Hello. This has a plus one on stealth and a plus one on deck saving throws and checks, as opposed to my plus one on stealth and advantage on constitution saving throws. So, I mean, I mean, this has higher AC. That seems better. Reduce the chance to hit me by 5%. That's pretty significant. Can you tell I haven't played a tabletop game for a while because I keep doing number crap? Looking forward to this weekend. <laughs> um, yeah, I want this armor. And I can afford it. I want it. Because it gives me the stealth bonus. Uh, but advantage on constitution checks. Because my constitution is not very good compared to my dexterity. But no, I mean... Like, higher AC, and I keep this... Well, higher AC, um, and the other one has constitution bonus, but they both have the stealth. So, do I want higher AC or do I want the con bonus? I want higher AC. But the, the, that's more important than the advantage on constitution. And I am going to take these arrows. I'm going to take these really cool arrows. Break your target's concentration and silence it. Uh... Yeah, why not? Uh, Arrow of Darkness. Maybe? Let me see how much it is to get the other ones. Dragon Slaying. Wow, uh, that's too much to spend on a maybe. I don't think I need an Arrow of Dragon Slaying right now. <laughs> Indeed. I, I am looking forward to whatever you have planned, Tim. And yeah, Deuce, we gotta we gotta get you back in for. Is it really the last session of playing Gia? I thought we had at least ten planned. I'll take one of those. I was really getting to the vibes with the character. Ooh, yes, I need this. Uh, you don't have any better bows, do you? No. Not not for me, at least. Okay. I assume the gloves aren't... Mm. No, 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 that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Let's balance that off for... Get moving, will you? All right. Not really my color, but... Um, oh, actually, you know what? I have an idea. I'm gonna give this to Asterion. Okay. Uh, now my arrow pouch. Come on, come on. I gotta get moving. I gotta go do that quest. Oh, all the arrows are doing that damage now. Oh, it's because it's based on the damage that I do. Okay, okay I, I get it. Arrow of lightning. Just, okay, just put all the arrows in here. And do I have any duplicate stacks? This is... No. Operation Demonite. I wish there was a way to just quickly combine stacks of stuff.
There we go. Okay. So yeah, um, they were directing me back here, right? Back to the mausoleum. Should I do this? I want to do it. If they just let me in, it'll make things easier. Or should I just go and burst in? No, I want to see what this is. No, we're fine. Let's do this. Let's do something. <laughs> It's been so long, there's no time for waffling. I can go around this way, right? Cutting through might be faster. Yeah, we are continuing with uh, Tim's third campaign this weekend, which I'm very excited for. I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea. <laughs> Actually, I should probably double check my spells before we start playing, but I'll do that on the day. Guess we'll just go left first. Bones everywhere. Someone's been engaging in dark rituals here. Oh, I wonder if this is on top of that pit we saw before. Getting evades me in this infinite darkness. Balthasar is my own source of barest comfort. The thought that perhaps she might be brought back to me. If oblivion can fall, what defense have we against death? None except its mastery. Balthasar's words have never felt more promising. I think we saw something like this before. Some implication that someone important to Ketherick had died. Here lies Melodia Thorn. Beloved wife and mother, a Armiel Tellere Manon here. Okay, I guess that explains that. Journal spanning years. Okay, yeah, 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 I think this is it.
temple fan. Gauntlet of Shar? Labyrinthian tangle of chambers and passageways stretch across multiple levels, with a vast statue of Shar dominating the entire central hall. There are sides running jagged jagged spidery hand, Balthazar scores running notes. The intact wings of proving grounds, the ruined wings, something present there. Strange sounds reported. Rats, why so many damnable rats? Out of this place, and something deadly sealed inside it. Oh, no, I want to poke around now. Wait. It's telling me to go back to investigate the Thorn Mausoleum? Is this not the... Oh, this is the Wraithwind Mausoleum? Wait a minute. Hang on. Why is it telling me to go back? Yeah, investigate the Thorn Mausoleum. No? Show on map. Yeah, this is it. Weird. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> Wrestling Christmas. <laughs> nice. You got something to do then. At the very least. I catch you in Signia. Not sure what it means though. Okay, if, uh, if Shadowheart didn't figure it out, then none of us are going to. Small note is squeezed into the margins of a tome detailing necromantic rites. General Thorm's orders were clear. In order to find what lies beyond this mausoleum, one must walk in his own footsteps deed by deed. From splendor to tragedy to infamy, as he put it. Splendor to tragedy to infamy. Zone. Oh, I bet there's something at each of these three points here. But there is more over here. More to this place. I'm sure of it. Lady Shah's presence is near. around here so let's uh let's like, take care of these traps step carefully there's a trap right next to it. Get out of here. Okay, I should just give myself guidance. I don't need it, but like a 12 and a DC 10 check when I'm capable of getting over 30 was uh, a little disconcerting. Oh, wait, there's paintings here. Oh, I bet those are the, um, shoot. I should have taken that book. What was it? Uh, something to tragedy to infamy. There's a trap. 
Okay, let's just disable the traps first before we go Indiana Jonesing our way around here. No worries, Tim. Thanks for hanging out. See you in a couple days. Splendor to tragedy to infamy. Okay. Yeah, I know this is a trap. Um, I'm in the Ketherick tomb. Zarel said that Ketherick wanted something, and I was like, sweet, I'll do that, and they'll let me in. There's apparently some sort of temple to Shar underneath this place, which, uh, if true, might mean we'll be here for a while. Also, hey, Cat. I saw you were hell diving earlier. Step carefully. There's a trap. Another trap. Jeez. Oh, so there's buttons under every painting. Splendor to tragedy to infamy. I mean, grief, that's probably the tragedy, you know. Moonrise. That could be the infamy. Oh, there's only three paintings. General. Uh oh. So, Splendor, to Tragedy. To Infamy. No. I heard a sound, but then nothing happened. Splendor to tragedy to infamy. Was something supposed to happen, or did I just miss it? So you... <laughs> I was hell diving. I was hell diving this morning, and then I was hell diving right before stream. <laughs> oh, uh, darkness. No parents. But why? Wait, why? Sosun Elg Olaf. Gesundheit. Isabel's grave. Before Ketherick wrenched her back into the land of the living. Hmm. Isabel? Isn't that the one that followed the Moon Maiden? Oh! <laughs> Cat, I, I did the same thing, to be honest. I saw you were in a game, then I was like, oh, okay. I was only playing until, like, 6.30, because I had to stream at 7. Um. Okay, I don't understand. Did I do this incorrectly? That bright tower. It's moonrise. Or it used to be. Catherick Thorne. Our 
followed by grief for his daughter. Splendor to tragedy to infamy. Oh, wait a minute. This is infamy. The tower is splendor. Quite infamous. Splendor. Tragedy. Infamy. Let's go. Hello, Balthazar. You here? This must be the way forward. Where will it bring us, though? If you're dead, you have to tell me. That might be worth a look. <laughs> yeah, I'm using the big brain. I got the smorts. Look, my brain is full of democracy right now. Three journal updates. What the hell did I do? Gauntlet of Shar. All right, I'm sorry, everybody. We're not we're not fighting Kethra today. Temples before, but never one quite so funereal. <laughs> Did you so it today? Every single time I could. <laughs> yeah, you got to use all your Eldritch Blasts before you reload. Also, funereal sounded really close to another word, Will. Interesting choice of words, is all I will say. Okay. Well, I guess we're doing this today. So much to do, goddammit. I thought once I got to Moonrise, I'd make some progress, but apparently not. Shah, singer of eternal night, protector of the lost and forgotten. It's a good thing Shadowheart's here. Cross from light into darkness. Give your life to the shadows. The gauntlet of Shah. I can't believe it. I can't believe we found the Dark Lady's sacred crucible. Overwhelming. Worship of Lady Shah is usually discreet by nature. Her holy sites have to be modest, well hidden. But that place... I never knew such grandeur had been built in her honor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright, well, as long as we're all on the same page. I know. I can scarcely believe it's real. But I saw it with my own eyes. Felt the polished stone walls raised in Lady Shah's honor. Normally, it would not be for me to pursue becoming a Dark Justicia without a superior's command. But this is different. My lady wanted me to find this place. I know it. Okay, so what do you know? The Gauntlet of Shah is no ordinary temple. It is the highest test of the Dark Lady's faithful, to judge if they are worthy of becoming a Dark Justicia. The Gauntlet has double meaning. It speaks of the ordeals to be overcome, and of the armor-clad fist of Lady Shah that would embrace the worthy. 
survive the crushing gauntlet, and be embraced by the Night Singer at its very core. The old ways were lost over time. Now some claim the rank simply by killing a single Saloon Knight. But before, they were a true elite. Many would attempt the trials, but few would succeed. So Kether did all. Did we know Isobel was his daughter? Am I misremembering who Isobel is? She was the one who did moon stuff, right? That almost is doing a great deal of heavy lifting. That man changes allegiances more frequently than a courtesan changes their bedsheets. At least he's proof you can turn from Shah and live to tell the tale. Though some may not call that living. Let me see if I can find something with her name in it. Maybe I can't find something with her name in it. Yeah, hang on, there she is, that's the name, Isobel. Isobella. Okay, I definitely did not know that Isobel was Ketherick's daughter. If that came up, it was never mentioned to me. <laughs> I feel like I would have remembered that. Offer your pain to Shah's embrace. Hear the night song. All right, let's do this. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba. The answer lies in darkness. Shah's warriors must not be caught, must not be tricked. Only the unworthy. Her voice. Is that Shah herself who speaks? Ow. <laughs> what the hells was that? The Dark Lady's path lies in darkness. Perhaps that is how I can proceed. Okay, well, can you cast darkness? It would be weird if you couldn't. Since it's you. Darkness is a spell, right? Daylight. Exact opposite of what I need. Maybe this? Wrap yourself in shadows? Okay, Shadowheart, you're up.
How does Channel Divinity work? Oh, okay. Actually, let me just save, because I don't want to waste that if this isn't... <laughs> I, I know things, and I do stuff. So it's not that. <laughs> okay, well, I'm pretty sure I have darkness arrows. I was just hoping someone could cast darkness. Maybe Will can do it? Oh no, but Will... I choose his spell, so I don't think I would have chosen darkness, because I don't think I... would have thought to. What about these, though, actually? Hang on. What if we turn out the light? No, because there's a bunch around here. Do you have darkness, Will? I don't think you have darkness, Will. wonder what the next move is. Surely Shadowheart has something for this. Better get to it. Welcome, child. Follow my voice and prove your worth. Repulsed again. But that glowing ring I saw may show the way. What? It just let me in? Not that I'm complaining, but also I don't understand. What am I to do? Okay, I guess Shadowheart's gonna take point on this one. You know what? I'm going to be safe and just making you safe. There we go. There's no time to waste. Looks like a trap. There's a lever over there. Blood? No, never mind. My faith protects me. Here. 
darkness. No parents. Okay. What to do? People know where that's from, right? That movie didn't come out that long ago. Okay, well I can do this. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Okay, but we need to get this one down. Step carefully. There's a trap. Yeah. Be wary. This place. Yeah. Something in the air down here. It's like this place wants to be forgotten. I didn't mean to click on you. But I guess, Will, do you have anything to say? In my years as the Blade, I've witnessed countless cruelties, faced unimaginable evil. But Thorn, he is made of pure hate. The Sword Coast will rejoice when the bastard's fallen. I love you, Will. My father is somewhere in this tower. I won't leave him in Thorn's hands. And lest we forget, we've a devil to rescue. Two missions, one destination. Okay. I guess I should let Shadowheart turn the lights off. Do I need to disarm this? What if I just don't stand on the vent? At the ready. Yeah, I think the marble thing is the trigger. Does Skeleton have a hat? Friggin' jaunty ass skeleton over here. Is that all of them? Did I break it? It. Unless there's more lights that I'm missing. Okay, I'll just ask, should this be doing something right now, or do I have more to do? Without saying specifically what. Because I, I can't tell if I just need to turn off the lights and it's broken now. In the meantime, I'm going to poke around. Okay, so... If it's not doing that right now, and I have all the lights off, and the barrier is gone for some reason, 
does that mean it's bugged and I should just reload? Because somehow, like, the barrier disappeared. The rain of night comes in a thousand falling leaves. Something present here, strange sounds. Is this what he means? But to what end? I... Well, if the intact wing is the proving grounds, maybe I should be over there. I'm ready. This idol or Shar? Yeah, no, I, I am certainly not. I couldn't I couldn't interact with this. Yeah, like this thing, right? I can't I'm clicking on it and I can't do anything with it. I think the intent of the puzzle was that I turn off these lights, the barrier comes down, and then I get this thing. But if it's not doing that, and it weirdly came down before, I think it might be bugged. I'm gonna go back here. Okay. All right, no worries. Okay, let's so let's have Claudia deal with the traps and stuff and then we'll have to Shadow Heart, turn off the lights. No more getting knocked down. That brings the key. Careful, there are traps about. Let's see. Trap, be cautious. These birds have seen everything. So disarm that. Okay, the lever is over here. Step carefully. There's a trap. Why is the barrier down again? Disarm you. Boom. Be wary. This place is trapped. Hmm. 
I wish you could just take 10 on checks that you knew you would succeed, but... Worth a try. Jesus. Okay. Repulsed again. But that glowing ring I saw may show the way. Oh, there's supposed to be like a barrier here too? Okay, yeah, that was definitely bugged. Oh, and this is supposed to be closing? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I messed up the game back there somehow. Oh. Okay, can I go... fit through here? Damn ring. There must be some way around it. Okay, are you all triggering this when you walk close to it? Hang on. All of you buzz off. Okay, so I got through, but I don't have the gem. At least things have stayed interesting. I mean, it seems properly solved at the very least. Creature's brain, a tadpole lives. Another presence nurtures it, manipulates it like a puppet. You blunder! You meddle! You upset my plans. Leave! against the darkness now all right why did lady stars dare to attack am i being tested why are they attacking nothing important is ever easy these boots have seen everything Oh, 
Oh, I can't do my thing because it's too dork. Alright, fine. Okay, well, at the very least, I can shoot something special at him. Oh, did it light up that brazier? Nice. Or was it already a lit? Okay, well, either way. Still missed? I mean... Oh, hang on, I can get this. Should have. Uh, ah, well, now we know. Oh, wait, there's more. actually. So I'm pretty sure it's Balthazar controlling these undead. That's my first guess at least. Yeah, guess at least. Oh, it's not too dark to see you. Oh, and I have advantage. All right. Take some of these. And now I hide. Be cautious. Let's go. I wonder if I should Deactivate Great Weapon Master, because this minus five is really hurting me. But a plus ten. A plus ten. 
plus 10. Oh, wait, are you guys weak to force, actually? Weak to radiant. There. I really need to reapply his hex, but... Disadvantage? Oh, it's too dark. Time to deal some punishment. Okay. I think we got this. Can't get over there, eh? Oh, spiritual weapon. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go... Uh, yeah, fine, I'll go over here. They'll probably be stuck on that side, but, like, I can fly over this and figure stuff out from there. I wish you could dash. It has a bonus action. Oi. Oi. Okay, so those orbs are just problems. Oh, it's gone. Fancy that. Okay. Oh, I could have one-shot this guy. Eh, I didn't know. That's a friendly location. What did my sneak attack do? Oh, 19 to 44? And the guy had 38 health? Okay, I, would, I wouldn't have tried that. <laughs> Attack him from this side. Soldier. Nice. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get disadvantage on this because he's right in front of me. Uh, where are the odds this guy hits me if I scoot? They both missed me before. No! It cost me everything. It cost me that spell slot. Wow, I, I I got hit and lost a spell slot all for eight damage.
Uh, okay, you can go behind these two. So glad Shadowheart has a useful cantrip now. Alright, spill trouble up and it's your time to shine. guys level seven and it got seven damage on a crit oh okay there it is Oh, but no, they hit Karlak twice because I did Reckless Attack, so they had advantage. So what did you roll that you got 7 damage on a crit? Friendo. Shadowheart was hit for 7... Two D eight slashing plus two. Is your is your attack one D eight plus one there? Okay, all right. You know what? Let's let's not think about it too much. We still got enemies to deal with. There's one down there and one over there. Can I get to you? I go this way. I can't get to you. Oh, she's not. I thought she had it. No, I, I gave her Morning Frost. Weird. You're right. I didn't even... I totally blanked on that. Where's the mace, then? Okay, I guess it's in my... Why would it be at camp? It must be, though, right? If it's not with Shadowheart or... Karlak? I wonder why I did that. Okay, well, we'll deal with that after this fight. Because I feel like it would be very useful on these guys. Okay. Yeah, it's a problem for after fight, Kelvin. Can I hit this guy? Too dark. Oh, 
the save for both of them. Uh, I mean, I gotta get both anyways. Is that on him? Why did it say too dark before? Okay. Alright, Karlak, it's go time. No holding back. Okay, too dark for this guy. And too far for this guy. We'll see about that. Oh, it is too dark. All right. Nice. All right. Go. Wow. Uh. Carlac. <gasps> really? Wow. Okay, well I'll just stand close. Another fight. Let's go. But I'm pretty sure we can finish him off. I I can get over here. If anybody has the movement, Claudia has the movement. Cool, I still have advantage. Okay, well, all the skeleton dudes are dead. That's probably fine. Oh, I did forget that. I just thought the push would have been funny. This place sure is shaking a lot. Okay, did I give the mace to Lazel, maybe? Did I give it to... No. I give them... What's the mace called? I swear I have it. Maybe I just can't find it. Like, it's a big, glowing mace, right? She did? Oh, it's in her. Okay, she's... Where is she? Was this better for Lazelle than the... The Gith Yankee sword? That can't be right. 2d6 plus 1d4 versus 1d6 plus 6? No, there's... Why did I give that to Lazelle? It must have been... No, because she was she was there at that fight that we were doing with um Halson, right? Wasn't she there for that? And that's why she had it? You think he great sword's two handed? Oh and I had made her this shield. 
Why is she using the shields? What are you using? Right. And you have Shockwave. And when you miss, you deal three bludgeoning, which I kept because I either had, um... No, I kept that because I had the minus five. So that's why I had that. But that meant that Carlac couldn't use a shield. And I made that whole adamantine shield. Still alive, so that's progress. So that might be why... But that just explains why... Okay, well, that explains why Lacelle has a one-handed weapon. Because she can't use the Githyanki Greatsword. Uh, what does a shield do? I can give the shield to Shadowheart. But I like that Shadowheart has the Ray of Frost, because then she has a good cantrip. And she does 2d8 plus 1. I mean, the mace is good with Undead. Oh yeah, her AC is probably going to be higher because of that too, yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it seems a shame to not use the mace. Because of everything that we went through to get it. But I prefer... Shadowheart having this weapon. Um, I prefer Karlek having a weapon that does damage if she misses. Oh yeah, no worries. I'm just I I'm thinking through it as well because I I want to. It's a pretty good mace as far as I know. So, well, I mean more specifically, it's a good mace against undead, and I think we're we're gonna be facing more undead. These are probably the thoughts that like two weeks ago Calvin had. Um, yeah, no, it, it makes more sense to keep things as they are right now. I would like to use the mace, but I can't justify, like, either taking away Shadowheart's good cantrip or Karlak's three damage on a miss. Because with a minus five, a miss is very possible. I want to use the mace, though. I guess Lazel can keep it, then. Yeah, I, I did see the sunbeam, but, like, it's not a cantrip, right? Like, I'd rather have an okay thing I can do each turn than a really good thing I can only do once. Especially, like, on a long rest reset. Because that's going to be very situational, and with how I play, I'm never going to use it, because I'm going to be like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I... Mm, yeah, I, I'll, I'm going to leave it where it is. Enchantment plus three. It is pretty good, actually, but... It's not like I have... It's not like I have Shadowheart doing melee. Yeah, nah, I, I think it's better the way it is right now. That plus three is pretty tight. I mean, it would be pretty good for Karlac. But then she's still rolling at minus two. Versus minus five with a guaranteed three damage. Yeah. Let's move. All right. Well, I know where it is. Right with Saluna anyway, Shadowheart. 
She betrayed her sister and ruined the balance of things. Imagine turning on those who love you for your own glory. Okay. Never wanted the easy path. Yeah, I'm. I'm happy with it. I just, I, I. Lady Shah. So many must have toiled to make a visage so grand. It's beautiful. I guess we just go this way? Better not be cursed. Hmm. Next time's the charm. Wits and blades always sharp. I'll have to try this later. Can't give up now. Okay. There were other directions to go in. I could feather fall. Ah, uh, no. I'm not gonna go breaking the quest again. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Altar is an inscription. Brave the gauntlet of your lady Shah, surmount her trials, and rise a dark justicia. I don't even know if we're finishing this this week. True. This is the gauntlet of Lady Shah. Perhaps here you can show yourself to be worthy. A dark justicia at last. There are recesses on the altar that look intended to house something. Another such receptacle already contains a gemstone. Can I guide myself? Yeah. Wow. I forgot what rolling badly was like. How did I not hit a 14 DC with advantage? I couldn't get a 10 out of there. Lady Shah's values are clear. Her children must excel in stealth, combat, and navigating her sacred darkness. Lastly, she asks for a sacrifice. To become a dark justicia, one must spill the blood of a Salunite. Uh-oh. Isabel's the only Salunite that I could think of. The Dark Lady's cadre of elite warriors. The most faithful, the most envied, the most ruthless. Well, stealth and combat, we got that in spades. So. I've got a long road ahead. Okay, so this was some sort of proving chamber, I suppose? And the other one, something present there. If not over, then through. Oh, hang on. Do you guys have anything good? No, probably not, right? What's next, I wonder? There's a waypoint down here? Okay, we're not finishing anything today. There's a ramp. No. Unworthy. 
unworthy to walk among friendly bones. Leave! Talking of you, intruder, invader, unworthy one. These halls are not for you. Still breathing, despite everything. Okay. On my way. Yeah, this feels like a whole thing. I thought I was just gonna pop in and out. 20 minute adventure, but... <laughs> What's next? Nothing of value comes easy. Overcome my trials and win my embrace. I shall prove myself worthy, Lady Shaw. Hmm, let's see. Her most vaunted treasure. What could that mean? Go to the other. No time to rest. I shall take My that advice. Will guide me. I guess I should rest, uh, but I'm not too rough. So, you know. I should rest after, like, any other combat, probably. Oh? Oh, is this the actual like gauntlet of Shar itself? And then this is this is what I came here for. I have a lot on my mind. And well, in it. Hurry inside, or your racket is liable to. Rancid Donkey Scrotum! The quakes herald the shadows. It's already too late. Rancid Donkey Scrotum. I think I've heard of that band. Okay. Might long rest after this battle. Do those count as killing? <laughs> I guess not, eh? I might as well rage. Why do I never rage? I don't know why I just don't do that. Oh, I should have moved closer too. Yeah, it's too late. I should have moved so I could sentinel. Bum -bum. Stealth. Oh, it's too dork. Can I? I don't think I haven't done this, but can I? Yeah, if I attack you like this, I have advantage, but I can't do Oh, probably because it's too far away. Another step forward. Yeah, okay. 
new paths have opened for me. Swift is my wah, 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 wah. What's happening over there? I hear voices coming from... Really? That one's touch. <sighs> well, I guess I can't do anything then. <laughs> uh... You know what? No, I can do something. Oh, nope, those are bonus actions. Never mind. waste her whole action, but... Oh, this is touch, too? over this one then a bright idea oh. uh, okay <laughs> I, I gotta hit something <laughs> that is interrupted I hit this that is interrupted There. <laughs> Yeesh. My little trick. There we go. Uh, that's all I got. Another one. Can I not sneak attack this? I have advantage. I mean, I guess it's also just a ball.
Um, I'm gonna rest after this fight, right? Yeah. No holding back. No time to waste. Nothing's really hanging on, eh? Don't you? No, Carlac doesn't have cleave. I keep thinking she does, so she does. she specifically doesn't because I keep thinking she does. Get you away from that ball. There's another one? Just trying just trying to get them over the, the ledge there. <laughs> I think it's too high. It's just gonna knock him towards Will. Okay, well. <laughs> Where do these balls keep coming from? Wow. I guess I should have gone for that one, eh? Goofy. Absolutely goofy. Did I forget about this? Oh, shit. Oh, and they'll get Blade Ward? Nice. This is my time. Uh, okay. Okay, there is quite a lot of them, actually.
Oh, I can hit you from here, can I? Yes, I can. Um, and then there's another one up there. I guess Claudia doesn't have too much reason to move anywhere. Breathe quiet. Move with care. What? Bleed for me. I mean, sure. How many lightning charges do I have? Just one. Uh, oh, I should have moved up a bit. <laughs> ah, it's fine. Okay, we really gotta get rid of these balls. Can I hit this guy? I might as well go for that guy and then open things up for Shadowheart later. Ah, oh, it's too dark. Ah, oh, it's too dark. But I can get over there and melee him, can't I? Sneaking, sneaking, sneaking. There we go. Okay, I can back up Carlac. Can't risk being in open view. Also, what the hell are you?
Spiritual weapon, go! You have 158. <laughs> Numbers? Weak to radiant, though. Let me, uh, just walk over there and do 40 damage, please. Um, just radiant, right? Yeah. Do you have a radiant thing, though? I don't think you do. Ooh, did I do something interesting? <laughs> uh, okay, we're, we're, if this is gonna be it before rest, then this is fine. Nice. And I got my charges in there. Well, one of them missed, but I did what? Six, seven, 16, 17. 24, 25, 32 damage? That's pretty good. Oh, I did. Yay. I don't know what it was, but I'm happy I did it. <laughs> oh, I should have hexed him first. I keep forgetting. same because they all have about the same HP Still too dark to hit those guys. Um, I have enough movement to hit them with melee, though. I think it might be just out of range. Go back here. Sneak attack melee. There we go. God, yes. Okay, but now I have to hide. I have a dash. when you missed. Okay, well, first off... Oh, you know what? I have an idea. Take one of these. Oh, no, I got too close. Ooh. 
Oh, but this is a save anyway. Melee attack. Oh, it's 49. Okay, never mind. Uh, I think Will could end this. I'm just gonna have to take the risk of getting hit by moving. Hoo I still have disadvantage? Still threatened? No, he's threatened. Oh, it's too dark. It's too dark. Really? Alright. Nice. Did both of those hit? Nice, Will. Alright. Okay, there's still a ball. I guess we just sneak attack this dude, right? I'll strike you down. <laughs> oh boy, I forgot about you. He's a weak radium, right? Can I... Maybe I can draw this guy out if we're all over here. Or I can run directly to him. No, I, I want to draw him this way, so... I mean, whatever. Sure, he'll attack the spiritual weapon. It's fine. He favors the fearless. Or I should just send Will out there. Just have Will wrap him up. Can you even hit him? Oh, you can. Never mind. I'm going to enjoy this. Come on, can't stay idle. How much is my melee doing? Five nineteen versus five. Okay, so my sneak attack melee is nine forty three. What are you? Can't afford to stay idle. No one stopped me yet.
Okay, I don't want to have to fight this guy, but I'm too curious. Any true soul would have succeeded in following my path through this place. You should be pleased. General Thorne. Rubbish. Everything is at hand here. Zarel merely envies the General's faith in me. I am in the midst of a Grand strategy. But you're here now, and I may be able to put those limbs to work. You know what's at stake here, I take it. I, I don't think I have a chance to in this. Oh, no way! It comes back to you. Balthazar headed a monastic order that controlled a place called Amkethran in the deserts of Kalimshan. But he is long dead from what you recall. Oh, him! Yes, I decided to take his name for myself. After taking his rib bones. Suits me better, I think. But enough idle chatter. Keep to the matter at hand. You do know what's at stake here. Yes. There is a relic here. One which General Thorn desires. No, needs. I will retrieve it for him, and you will help me. Ignorant you may be, you've shown some prowess in scouting and combat by making it this far. Jobs like this, goes, yes, what am I looking for? Someone tell me. Um, oh no, I got this. My lowest bonus is eight. Yeah. Fine, if it'll spare me your bleeding. The relic lends the general his strength, his <laughs> invulnerability. It must be recovered before his enemies attempt to exploit it. I do not need you or your help, but... You are here in spite of that, so I may as well make use of you. The relic is close, but the way is barred and Shah's dead are uncooperative. Clear the path for me by blade, cunning, or whatever it takes. I will remain here until you have succeeded or fallen. I'd trust this gas bag about as far as I can throw him, which isn't far. Perhaps better to play along for now. You're pretty strong. It's good time to provide your operatives with some extra resources. You know what I mean? I got this. Just roll higher than a two. Actually, a two would have made it. Fine. I will assign flesh to aid you on your way. Ring this bell, and he will come. My brother is Me. no intellectual powerhouse, but he is strong, loyal, and punctual. Should a fight turn against you, remember the bell. In part, yes. My poor unborn twin. Mother always resented me for it, said I strangled him in the womb. If you can believe such tripe. Besides, once I developed my powers, I fetched him from the graveyard and brought him back. 
gave him a new, better body. Alas, mother was not pleased. I imagine not. All right. Flesh will remain here until Cork. But don't fear. He has very sharp hearing. I chose his ears myself. Now, get to work. All right. What? Hello? The artifact that gives Ketherick his power? That's exactly what we need. Oh, I have to complete the gauntlet. Okay. I thought the gauntlet was up here. Oh, does it loop around and then you just come out this way? That makes sense. Okay, fair play. And also, thank you for the heads up. So I feel like the Gauntlet of Shar is going to be a big deal. Really? Here we go. Oh, did you just... Like explode the explode the orbs faster than I did. Because they just kept dropping. It was weird there was no like notification for the orbs. Oh, you know what I can do now? I can go here. And I can go to the last light in. That makes sense. Oh, we should talk to Lazel. Okay, so let's deal with... There's people in here we need to talk to. Uh, Barkus and the Tieflings. Is the kid here? Ah, there you are. Everyone seems to be quite a flutter. Do you know why? You... you did? But, but that means... Wolverine! Wolverine! Where is he? I heard you might be about. How the devil did you get stuck here, Barkas? <laughs> I'm not stuck. I came to find you, of course. Why would you do a foolish thing like that? Really, Barkas? Uh, unfortunately for me, you're my friend. Rescuing you from mortal peril is my right. But you didn't rescue me, did you? I rescued myself. With the aid of this helper. Ah, it's you. I should have guessed. Thank you very much for your help finding Wolverine. You don't belong here, Barkus. As soon as the way is clear, pack up and head to Baldur's Gate. But, w Wolverine, the rune powder. We need to discuss what you're going to. I said go home!
Wasn't Barkus the one that was spinning before? Yeah. He's kind of a jerk, but like... He went out of his way for his boy. Also, yeah, I would not like to, I would not have liked to be hit back for 80 damage there. Please, that that isn't necessary. Indeed. Neither of you has any clue what's at stake. And, and why should you? It's Iron Hand Gnome business. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a great deal to do. Well, there we have it. Wolbrin is safe and sound. Thanks to you. I owe you a great deal. The brilliant retort, for starters. Here you are. As promised. I give you the brilliant retort. Now, I believe our business is well and truly concluded. Oh, yeah. Well, perhaps Wolbrin is right. Perhaps I ought to return to Baldur's Gate. Join my camp? Hmm. Uh, perhaps I will. Why not? <laughs> yes. Yes. That's a nice idea. Thank you. Ooh. I'll catch up with you later. I have some funeral rites to prepare. You're here! You're all right! How? We're two tiefling queens, remember? I couldn't leave my favorite bard without her partner in crime. Oh. I did have some help from an old friend, though. How did you do it? Kind of my thing. <laughs> then I'm glad you're on our side. You should have seen her. She was brave, but also terrifying. In a good way. That's what I aim for. Oh, I never thought I'd see... Well, anyone again. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. One last favor. Take this off my hands. It suits you better. Whoa! Why are you smiling at me? Primit is uh, clear, uh, ma'am. Good. We'll leave soon. And we don't want any surprises. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I have a partially spoilery question. Is Maul okay? Or do I have to do something else to rescue Maul? I'm very concerned I have failed that task somehow. Also, uh, I think I'll talk to Isabel while I'm here. Isabel's still here, right? Mm. Mayhaps Jahira? Jahira, Jahira? Jahira, Jahira. Okay. Oh, the robe is great for Will. Oh, yeah! Warlocks use charisma in this spot. Yeah. But it said cantrips, didn't it? Shall 
There's that bed over there in the most to the side. Oh, that thing has a plus one AC if he has lightning charges. That's pretty good. Uh, cantrips deal additional damage equal to charisma modifier. <gasps> Eldritch Blast is a cantrip? Okay. Another plus three on my Eldritch Blast would be tight. Because he seems to be very lucky with those rolls. So I'll be doing a 1d10 plus six. So that's what? 10 to 19 damage? Oh, this has AC plus one. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, and temp HP too. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never a dull moment. Now, what I have to do since I'm down here is, oh no, it was the bugbear that had the good dies, wasn't it? I'll see what they have here. The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. Yeah, I suspect Isabel might be his daughter. Do you? Well, let us not leave you in suspense, then. You are right. She is. Something malign? Huh. Or some blessing of Siluna, perhaps. I do not know what restored Isabel's life to her. But okay, I can that's a, see that what she's point. doing with it. If she wished to see us drowned in darkness, Isabel needn't have lifted a finger. Instead, she holds out her hand. I choose to take it. I choose to trust. And not just because I have no other choice. I need to speak to her myself. If it will help, only remember. I bear more blame for the Shadow Curse than Isabel does. And she can no more control her parentage than you can that thing in your head. She'll extend that protection to you, too, if you see her. Mm, you've shown me how well you can sniff out secrets. I'd like to see you turn that nose upon Ketherick Thorn. The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. Gruesome, isn't it? I'm glad you survived the encounter, at least. Did you learn anything more? Chosen? Oh, that's three masters Ketherick has served. Our paladin isn't very picky. He's aligned himself with mind flares. But I cannot see what he gains. Perhaps we can force yeah, it I guess out it of is, him once because we he was... him up against a wall. He followed Saluna, and then Shar, and now the mind flares. The, tower me, yeah. the great general is paranoid. Good. That means he's protecting something. I'll wager it's the source of his invulnerability. He'd protect that at any cost. Was there anything else? Nope. Was one lost soldier among thousands? Okay, is Isobel around here? I assume she'd be in her room. among the cultists man preparing to march i wager seems that way there must be another way closer yeah each side narrows at night time <laughs> two steps in, and heavy. you're likely to become some dagger's new sheep what's up for discussion see if there's anything you need we don't know when the next blood might land yeah 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 yeah, yeah.
Hmm. Uh, I was upstairs, but I didn't see her. I'll just go look again. Um... Okay, you have black and white, blue and gold, deep lilac, bloody plum, red, green, orange, green. Black and white might be pretty interesting. Black and white could be pretty interesting, actually. Okay, uh, I'll, tri I'll give it a try. Take care now. Okay, let's go do this in camp. Oh. I completely forgot what I just said. <laughs> uh, I didn't see her on the balcony. I'll double check. Oh, you're over here. You did well to help those people escape Ketherick. Every soul saved is a blessing, and you're raining them upon us. Her breath catches. You notice a barely perceptible shudder run through her body. An unfortunate coincidence. I hope never to meet the wicked man who hemorrhaged shadows over this peaceful village. All right, well, that was a team effort. Like most things in life. My thanks to your team. You work well together. Almost laughable, but he sees himself fit to judge anyone. Did you learn anything about how we might defeat him? Right well, that's fantastic. Well done. I'm glad you've made progress. Protecting this inn. Well. So glad you're ah. on our side. Sorry, that was we're a misclick. Oh, yeah, let's learn more about Saluna and Shar. Moon and Shadow. Light and dark. Divine sisters ever at war. And this place has become one more battlefield. Sometimes life forces us to choose sides. Luckily, sometimes the choice is obvious. Okay, that wasn't super helpful. To the camp. To the camp, to the camp, to the camp, camp, camp. Uh, where is Lay? L. Hello. Shah's spirit lingers here. The air's thick with lies and trickery. Once again, your mind opens to Lazel, and she considers the disc. More writings on Orpheus, the so called prince of the comet. The prince of the comet, part three. The histories tell us that Commander Voss, Gestil Kithrak, mm, okay. cursed Prince I just read this, but... clean through with his sword of silver, that his flesh was torn and fed to the great red dragon Ephelamon. 
Blackith's faithful roar out this tale. But beneath the roars, we hear whispers carrying truth and prophecy. The Prince of the Comet is not dead. The Prince of the Comet will come again. The Prince of the Comet will liberate us from Vlakith's tyranny. Mm. Praise be to Mother Gith, Queen of the One Sky. Praise be to your son, Orpheus, the true heir, Prince of the Comet. This is more than a fable. It's an affront to the undying Queen Vlakith. Gith's son died to Voss's blade. Orpheus is no more. It is not just improbable, it is impossible. Kithrak Voss and his red dragon slayed the fell prince. You could no more resurrect him than you could glue together the pile of ashes he became. My Vash taught that the silver bells of Blackith's court still ring out before every hunt in celebration of the prince's defeat. As a child, I longed to hear them for myself and sing in praises to the deathless queen and her Kithraki. Tiamat's emissary. Oh. It was he who carried word that Mother Gith had negotiated the gift of the dragons, and that Vlakith I would preside as queen of the Githyanki. The Thalaman remains the queen's consort to this day, as endless as the empire he now serves. Dang, okay. Anything more? Okay, let's try those dies. good on the armor. Oh, that looks great on the armor. I'm a little on the fence with how it's on the cape, though. I don't know why my hair looks weird, by the way. It just looks weird right now. I like the black on the cape. Alright, maybe I'll get used to it. I'll see. I wish I had, like... Just like a dark color to put on the cape. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll do a long rest because I have no more spells. Well, not that I have no more spells, but just... I gotta do the gauntlet. Okay, does anybody have anything that they need to say to me? Don't waste a step. Oh. Uh. Uh-oh. Good evening. I'm here on behalf of Gale of Waterdeep. He wishes to extend you an invitation for a private conversation in a more suitable locale. Gladly. Simply follow yonder path, and soon you will find him. Go to full rest, and then it'll go to... And yeah, I feel like the gauntlet's gonna be a whole episode, so... I'm trying to think of stuff I can do to fill out the last few minutes here. And I might play Helldivers tonight, I don't know. Hey. 
Okay. I love this time of night. There's an almost reverent silence that accompanies the peak of darkness. When you'd almost believe the dawn will never break. The cradle of eternity. The timelessness of lovers. That most beautiful of fantasies. You all right? I will be. Soon. I am perhaps just one hard day away from being without any troubles at all. This may be my last night alive. I wanted it to be under a canopy of beauty and wonder. I thought this place might bring me peace. I thought it might make the weight of what I must do feel a little lighter. But I'm not so sure. Really? Was that a puzzle? I thought it was just gas. <laughs> I thought it was just gonna kill me. Abel crone, coward or hero, death is assured. Mistress' forgiveness is not. If you knew the end was near, would you not want to ensure it had meaning? I am terrified. I will not claim otherwise. My face could scarcely conceal it, even if my words sought to deny it. There is no point in running from the inevitable. Better to meet it on my own okay. terms. That is what I thought at first, but then it poisoned me, and I was like, oh, this guy probably just poisons people. Yes, but there is so much to live for and so few moments in which to house it all. Damn you. Damn you for giving me so much to care about. Our friends, our adventures. <laughs> this would have been so much easier if it was just me. But it isn't. If there is a way, any way, to save all that's grown dear to me, I want to cease it. I just cannot fathom what that might be, other than to fail Mistra and condemn the world. Stay with me, will you? I don't want to think of it anymore, but I don't want to be alone either. Yeah, of course. Man, I wish I brought Gale out more. He is having a rough go of it. Um, I guess we could go go try that puzzle, real quick, and that'll be the end of it. scale. Okay, there it is. I was hoping to speak to you, as a matter of fact, about the night you were kind enough to keep this melancholy wizard company. I wanted to... to thank you. I was sinking into a dark place. But you reminded me there is still light in the world. If I should care to look for it. You... You may well have prevented me from doing something very rash in the near future. I count myself lucky to call you a friend. 
Hmm, <laughs> careful. I may just take you up on that. Oh, would that I could. But your entourage is full. You'll need to make room for me first. Back in the thick of things at last. Oh, how exciting. Was a time I tussled with hill giants without breaking a sweat. Now, a mere werebear could swap me halfway to arm. Strange things are happening to us. What festers in our minds may well impel our bodies. Oh. Yeah, I, I think that came up before. How, like, these guys have such in depth backstories, but they're also, like, they started as level 1 characters. I mean, I thought it was weird. You seem to know a good deal about our condition, Gary. Everything, really. Not to put too fine a point on it. A humble specimen, aren't you? On occasion. distant by the moment. We walk Shah's path now, lest we don't spend too long in her shadow. Okay. Should I just... Level up Gale real quick so we'll have more HP.
wizard. Oh, that's a fair point. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't have Warcaster already. I guess Warcaster makes sense. Oh, but I could bring Intelligence up to 18. Get that bonus. Ooh. Yeah, actually, I kind of want that. Yeah, I think I kind of like this, because this increases the um, bonus modifier. Okay. How do I acquire Will's help? <laughs> Cast to put my hands on everything. Bet that will fit in my pack. How can I help? Oh, after the solve.
need to find a way forward. Don't mind if I do. Better served by a beating heart than a poisoned mind. There's a heart over here. Beating a heart. Poison wine. Anything of use? Might as well read this. Conventional medicine, galvanic interrogations, poisons and venoms, musty tones. Better served by a beating heart than a poisoned mind. I mean, there's a heart on his table there. Um... Was the book in here somewhere, or...? Hmm. 
Yeah, his notes were... He needed a new copy of Swift and Sudden Death because his current one is badly scorched. Install a drain beneath the library's conventional medicine shelf. Yeah, a new drain though, so does that mean that is trapped because there's a lot of... Well, that makes sense. I'm pretty sure I clicked on this one and it caused the poison cloud to spread. But this was just on a bookshelf, so that's not... Did it? I thought I clicked the other one. Okay, then... That changes a few things. Okay, but if that's what that did, and I think he specifically mentioned... Let me check this again. He did mention tomes as well. Um... Okay, so this is spikes. This created zombies. That made a poison gas cloud. Is it the musty tomes? Oh, okay. The hmm. Let's see what this does. I guess something else would have mentioned the galvanic uh, thing. That is served by a beating heart. Okay. Swift as my feet can carry me. That part, I think I understand.
blossoms. No sign of tentacles so far. The same. Except for a knot of worry in my stomach that's in no rush to go away. That I can relate to. Simply plan to raise what forces I need inside the monster's name itself. Temple not suffered. Oh, okay, this is what he's... thing you'd think to call an artifact of the absolute sounds powerful no matter the name if we find it we can turn it against him yeah this is what Balthasar First, just we have to find it and I suspect he keeps it very very well hidden Courage, Gail. Thank you. Any particular reason? Between the orb and the bug, you've got more than your fair share of unwelcome passengers. What can I say? Mother always taught me to be a gracious host. Yeah, we get a nice hat. The necromancer was experimenting on the tadpoles, but they were already imbued with Netherese magic. So where did that magic come from? Gonna pick up a dead pixie, Jesus. A goblet filled with the mutilated the corpses of illithid parasites. Take it, you have some Whatever ungodly experiments were performed on them likely the killed wonder. them. Or how about the master of the weave? Tempting, but I think we might already have the maximum number of theatrical titles. into the bench's rotted surface are strange, half-faded sigils. A magic circle of some kind, thick with darkness and decay. A ritual circle. And a complex one at that. I've seen such a construction before in the writings of the Weave Pasha of Alm Raven, though his vision was not so... tainted. What is its purpose, other than looking very glitchy? The sigils are written in a curious mix of tongues. Ancient Kalashite, Netherese, something else I can't quite make out. If I'm reading it correctly, it was used in the creation of moon lanterns. It's been mostly drained, but even now contains a powerful dose of shadow weave. The discarded pixie corpses might still contain enough essence. With one of the broken lantern casements. Yes. I think I'll be able to craft one more lantern. And with a slight modification of the casting gesture, it might be able to wield the shadows instead of repelling them. Though, Mistress Eyes may be upon me. It should forbid me dabbling with such magic. I should want it destroyed. Wasted, arguably. Forget what Mistra wants. Think about yourself and what Lady Shah's power could do for you, Gale. Make the lantern. Spread her will. Um We have the Moon Lanterns to protect us, so. Can Gale choose? Destroy it. Go for it. Let me deal with it. Leave it alone. Yeah. Let Gale choose. This is his thing. 
Do I want it? Kind of. But, I mean, whatever we face, we'll get by. I mean, I don't know. Is this a... Should I, should I get this item, I guess? Because my instinct is to let Gale choose. I feel like that's what Claudia would do. Is let Gale decide what he wants to do. I don't know if this item is... <laughs> like... Ooh, excuse me. I don't know if this item is critical, though. Ooh, I don't know if I'm hell diving tonight. Maybe I should go to bed. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna let Gale decide. Very well. Stand back, if you please. It yeah, I, I should have guessed. The sigils fade. The circle's tainted magic dissolving harmlessly into the ether. Oh. Not bad for a wizard who slept through his Kalashite lessons, eh? Did you feel that? I wasn't surrounded on all sides by the darkness of the shadow cursed lands. I'd think it was Mistra herself brushing against my skin. That's Mistra's power for you. Where there's even a trace of magic, she will be there to bring it to life. There's clearly some magic in you if you were able to sense her presence. But I think I felt something stronger. She's left some tiny part of herself to watch over me, I think. A boon to help us reach the heart of the Absolute in one piece. Hmm, true enough. And somehow I doubt that's an order Mistra will be willing to rescind, no matter how many times I impress her. The stakes are simply too high. Strange, though, that she would reward me for such a service now. She's hardly been forthcoming on that front since my banishment. Ah, perhaps I'm overthinking things. A blessing's a blessing, and this one should come in most useful. Oh. Okay, cool. Something in the air down here. It's like this place wants to be forgotten. You know I'm up for it, but you Yeah, I thought that was interesting. Control. Uh <laughs> now we're talking. I feel like I gotta do more Gale stuff. I gotta do like <sighs> the pride of the uh, personal playthrough where I spend more time with Gale and Asterion. Okay, um, let's get out of here. Okay. And that'll do for now. I am clearly very tired. So next episode... The Gauntlet of Shar. -ar -ar. I, I have no idea what to expect. I don't know what this is going to be. 
But I feel like it's gonna involve stealth and combat, so, you know. Two things I can say with some certainty that I have covered. I see some certain people playing Helldivers, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. I kind of want to just go to bed, so. <laughs> Thanks a ton, everybody, for coming by and hanging out. Um... Oh, eh, I, I'd rather have Gale make his own choice and do something that seems to progress his story in a certain way. Um... Because, I mean, we fought a bunch of these wraiths, and I gotta say, not impressed. <laughs> but yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out and watching. Deuce, thanks again for all of your help in understanding video games. Um, <laughs> if you are checking out the VOD, um, again, I appreciate you stopping by. Check out all the other Baldur's Gate episodes and other previous streams on the channel. Um, if you're into tabletop RPGs, please check out the One Dice podcast on YouTube and now on Spotify. Um, and yeah, that's about it. As far as the stream schedule goes, uh, should be good to go on Sunday, uh, for Mass Effect. And then next Thursday, actually, next Thursday, starting Alan Wake 2, um, if it doesn't work, I'll do something else. I'll prepare a backup game just in case, but yeah, the intent is to start Alan Wake 2, so I'm looking forward to that. All right, uh, so yeah, I'm going to hop off now, and I will see all of you down by the river. <laughs>